I did a little more research and was able to actually get sound out of the MIDI to CV controller after today's class. The main thing that I had to do was actually reset this unit. So did you do that by actually pressing the mode button right here and holding it for four seconds? And the lights will flash and that actually resets it into factory default mode. Then push the mode again until you get to mono. That's the setting that you should want. You should see that these uh, cables are actually configured quite like our we had them today. So the control voltage is coming out of the MIDI 3 unit, then going over to the uh, 1 volt per octave, then I have the mix out coming from the synthesizer box. Uh, that allows me to then use these knobs down here at the bottom to change the timbre. But if I turn the volume up down here on the mixer, which again, the Eurorack is coming in to channels 1 and 2 here. So that's your left and right output from the the blue and red cable that you see here. Blue is here, red is here, okay? And then the overall level on the mixer is here. But now you should be able to get sound out of it. I've got the MIDI cable connected to the same keyboard I had in class. So now I can actually play it. Okay. Uh, one of the other fun things that the MIDI to CV controller has is actually if you press the mode button again and you switch it over to ARP, it has an arpeggiator built into it. ARP is for, short for arpeggiator, so now when I go come over to the keyboard, if I play a chord, you can hear that. Um, one of the other thing, problems we had, again, uh, with the synthesizer box, it was, timbre-wise, it was doing something pretty complex. This uh, frequency modulation was turned up, so that was changing the frequency over time. I recommend turning that all the way down. Uh, I recommend getting with some, uh, starting with a really simple timbre by turning these three knobs all the way to the left, uh, counterclockwise. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that um, I've got it pretty well tuned at this point. But this frequency knob here on the synthesizer box will actually change the tuning. And I can't get quite back where I was. But effectively, it would change the tuning. So now when I play, I'm not going to get C's anymore. So, uh, if you want to tune the thing, the biggest thing, the, the easiest way to do that, start with the, playing a C on the keyboard once you got everything configured, and then adjust this frequency knob until you hear the C that you want. Or whatever pitch you, it is you want to tune to, okay? Uh, and that should allow you to play uh, with a MIDI keyboard. This is a MIDI keyboard that I brought from my office, but any MIDI keyboard that actually just generates MIDI messages will do. So we have a few of them around the studio if you want to do that. Uh, we can talk next week about getting Ableton Live to drive it.